What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to give you guys all this information that I've been able to do in the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm sorry I haven't posted since that rear subframe video, but a lot of this has happened. So I was able to come in contact with someone. I was able to find a motor. The motor I have not told anybody about besides like the crew and stuff because they wanted to see exactly when I'd get it back out on track. But uh, we did grab a motor and it is currently at Robbie's house. So thank you, Robbie, for holding that for me for now until I'm actually able to get back there and snag that. But this video is totally different from motor work. I was able to get something that I've been waiting for for years ever since I saw this one picture here. From seeing that picture, I've seen that car so many times and I, I was just like infatuated with it for a long time. Um, but yeah, I was able to finally get a 99 J spec bumper. So even working on Omar's car a few years back, putting his on and stuff, I was just like, I want one of these so bad. And it just kind of fell into my lap that I was able to snag one and get uh, one painted by Kaputz Auto Body. So super thankful for them. Thank you so much. But the reason why I'm posting this video is that once they get their J spec bumper, there's many different, there's kind of different things that you can do. Okay. So you can either um, delete the fog lights entirely and put some fog light ducts in from all said companies. There's there's a ton, Ionic Dynamics, Power Tricks, all that. Or they wanna put LEDs in there um, in the actual housing themselves, just get rid of those big old bulbs. Or sometimes people like the OEM look and they might wanna tint their fog lights or whatnot. For me, I've always been, I've seen those fog light ducts uh, from Power Tricks or whatnot, and I was like, I need to get me a set. So I went out, I went to Power Tricks, I actually got a set of fog light ducts. So this is gonna be a complete how to install them. Um, again, in the forums I've seen, people are like, hey, what do I use? Do I use 3M double-sided tape? Do I use adhesive? Do I screw? Do I use uh, zip ties? You can do whatever way that's gonna work best for you, but the easiest, most simplest way is by using 3M tape. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly step-by-step step how to do it, how to cut it out, and going from there. Let's get into it. And let's get down to the car. Okay guys, so as you can see, without having the fog light ducts in, you can kind of actually see like a lot of the uh, components behind the actual fog light. So again, this is just another aesthetic that basically you just want your car looking good and you don't want to be able to see all those extra components. As of right now, I didn't buy the actual extra grill. Unfortunately for if you're gonna get it off like Z1 or Concept Z, they, they kind of are pricey. Um, I'm gonna actually show you guys a, in a whole nother video when I get that actual grill mesh in. It's gonna be off Amazon and it's super cheap but looks super good. But going off from there, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to mock these up. The uh, actual fog light ducts that you can actually see here, these ones actually came from uh, Power Tricks. So I got these about like two or three years ago and I just never mounted them because I never had the J-Spec. Um, so basically all you're gonna do is if you're looking at it, as you can see this piece here, the little fin piece is actually gonna go towards the turn signal. So if you put it in here, it's gonna fit just like this. There you go. And that's how it's gonna look. Okay, so, and same thing with the other side. As you can see, you're gonna put this here, put that little fin towards the turn signal, and this is gonna fit in again, just like that. And there you go. So that's what it looks like with both of them in it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna show you guys is exactly how to lay your 3M tape down and then just install both of them. Before you actually start laying down uh, your 3M double-sided tape, okay, what you wanna actually do is clean the parts and clean the surfaces that you're actually gonna be basically using the adhesive to adhere to somewhere. So um, typically what you're gonna do, you're just gonna grab some rubbing alcohol. I mean, you can use 70%, 80%, whatever percent, just make sure that it's rubbing alcohol. The more potent, so the higher percentages on the rubbing alcohol, you just wanna make sure that it's not gonna sit on the paint longer. So if it's less of a percentage, um, you can let it sit a bit a little bit longer, but typically all I do is I just grab a rag, I pour some of the rubbing alcohol on there, and I just rub the edges down. Okay, so I'm gonna basically where I'm gonna be laying down the 3M tape is all around every edge here. Then from there, you're gonna lay down your 3M tape, and then we'll go outside, clean the slits of the actual bumper with this, let that dry, and then we'll start placing everything in. Um, there is a little trick to these, so as you can see, like they fit very, very well. 
um, but it's not tight. So there's some spots where you're gonna have to use either um, more than just one strip of 3M. You're gonna have to put one strip down, let that set, and then throw another strip down. And a little trick that I wanted to show you guys, okay? If we're looking at the actual fog light duct, as you can see, I didn't put the tape right on the edge because if you put the tape on the edge and you actually put pressure down, the tape kind of expands out a little bit picture like you um, pushing on something that's like jelly, right? If you push down on it, it's gonna kinda spread out. Um, so basically what I did is just left about like a fingernail worth out, um, not against the edge. So basically when we put this in, it's gonna sit flush and you're not actually gonna see the tape, okay? So I laid down this first strip on the top here and I'm just gonna repeat the steps. So I'm gonna do uh, a strip on the bottom and then one on each side too. All right guys, so now basically all I did is I just put one strip fully around, okay? So this is mainly just like a test fit to see exactly if I need to add another strip anywhere. I've, from what I've read is that you may have to put a second strip on the bottom just because of the spacing, but that could be just totally determining on uh, what manufacturer actually made it. Again, Powertrix made this one, Ionic Dynamics makes one, um, a few people at home make them, uh, like small companies and stuff. So, but basically all I did was just one strip all the way around and we're gonna just kind of see how this sits in place here. And honestly, with these Powertrix ones, one strip I think is gonna be enough guys, in all honesty. I think one strip is gonna be perfect. So I can see um, right here, I can trim that down a little bit because you can kind of see it. So I'm gonna try, probably trim that down. But yeah, if I put any pressure, oh, actually, so let's see. This piece right here is kind of sticking out a little bit. Like there's kind of space. I can see space between the actual bumper itself and the tape. So I might actually just throw a little strip right there just to fill that in but besides that I'm pretty straight if I just trim that down and fill that in we should be good to go so that's that side and now let's see if we can uh, fill this one in and see how she fits okay all right so as I see here this one fits pretty well on the bottom but right here there's a little space and right here, there's a little space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and put that in. Uh, I'm gonna put another, again, a little piece right here, a little piece right there, and we should be good to go. And then there they are, guys. Nice and flush, looking good. They're perfect. It makes it, the bumper look so much better. Like, it's so simple, it's crazy. Ugh. So yeah, guys, I mean, basically, if you just follow these steps, it's pretty simple. I would say if I could go back and do something, um, I did have the thicker 3M tape. I think they give you like a quarter inch and then they give you like a half inch um, width. I would say stick with the quarter inch. Get the th uh, the thinner lines of it uh, just because with the thicker lines, you have to trim it up and whatnot. And um, I actually didn't have enough to actually just run the entire roll in one loop. Um, so you only have like one like crack, I would say. Um, so basically like if you could see, there's like a crack like right here, then there's gonna be like a crack up here. Cause I did like four separate pieces just because I didn't have enough to do a full roll. So I had to like kind of jimmy it up. But I would say just buy two of the rolls. I think they're $9.99 at like Advance or AutoZone or whatever of the uh, quarter inch uh, 3M double-sided tape. And what I would do is I would run I would start probably here in the bottom left corner and wrap it all the way around and then have the corner end here because just it's just like for me, um, aesthetic and just like eye appeal, no one is gonna be looking down at this corner, but these ones are kind of visible. So um, I, again, I can take them out if I want to and redo them or whatnot, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave them. Yeah, I mean, they're good, they're locked in place, they're not going anywhere, so, but yeah. Super excited. The next video that we will be doing again is, uh, I did get a Z-Spec uh, Fair Lady Z bracket here. And then I also have the uh, grommets coming so I can put that on there. And then we will be working on the actual uh, grill itself. So down here, down here, and down here. And I actually think since we have the spare fog light uh, wires here, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the wires. I'm gonna put an LED down here and an LED down here. So I'm gonna have a whole DIY how to, to uh, wire that in and whatnot, but 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. j gang, finally. So this has totally, after you guys seen all the work done, it's totally transformed my car from the NA Daily Z, which I, don't get me wrong, I like NA bumpers. You can do a tons of different lips on them and stuff, but I've always wanted a 99 J-Spec. It's not t completely finished because I still want to put a lip on it, but for right now, it's gorgeous. I, it just totally transforms the car. It makes it look so much better in my mind. It's crazy. Um, those fog light ducts, and again, Kaput's auto body for painting the fog light ducts and the bumper, and it just, it looks immaculate. And I'm just so happy. I can't stop smiling about it. it it's something that I've been waiting a long time since I've been in the Z game that I wanted to get that bumper. So a lot of people ask, well, why don't you get it for the drift car, this and that. For the drift car look, it's a total different look. For this car, how I want it to be the cleanest it can possibly be, this is the look I want to go for. So um, I do have some ideas for side skirts. Uh, and then lips all around and stuff. But basically, I'm trying to keep it as stock as possible. I know I'm like, oh, bumper, side skirts, uh, in that. But yeah. Um, after this video, I will be posting a video of a fog light install that's not going to be in the fog light ducts. So stay tuned. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for any additional content, click one of the links here. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.